this video, I want to talk about my predictions, theories, and just thoughts on Arya in season seven. This video was voted on by my lovely patrons on Patreon, so thank you so much. Warning, this video does contain spoilers. I will be using any and all leaked material, including videos, photos, scripts, doesn't matter to base my opinions and have a discussion about my thoughts on Arya in season seven. So if you're trying to stay spoiler free, please don't watch this video. This close to the season starting, I feel like there's nothing I can really say that has probably been said a million times by a million different channels. But since I don't watch those channels and I'm not up to date on their predictions, you're gonna have to forgive me if I'm repeating what they're saying. Because first off, I think it's common sense, regardless of leaks or what anyone else is saying, that Arya just won't leave the twins after killing Lord Walder Frey. That would be too easy, and our sweet little Arya has a taste for vengeance. Freys that killed her family and her family's bannermen are still in that castle. So it's an easy guess to assume Arya takes out some more Freys before moving on. How does she do it? Well, Arya could walk around the castle shanking people. We know she has zero problems with shanking people. Of course, she could go for something a little more fun. Poison. Poison is considered a woman's weapon in the Seven Kingdoms, and we know Arya was trained in poisons as part of her How to Be a Faceless Man courses. I mentioned this many videos ago, she could lure all the men into one room disguised as Walder Frey, have a nice little chat with them, and then poison them. Boom, wiped out a bunch of Freys. And I think that may have been part of some leak maybe last year, I'm not quite sure, but I think there was a mention of a leak where Arya kills a bunch of Frey men, and I could see her using poison to do it, unless that leak also said poison. Then I will say she could burn them down in that room with the Freys all in there, but that's kind of a, a Daenerys thing to do. Now, the last time I mentioned this, some people got a little emotional and told me that it wasn't fair because not all the Freys were involved in the Red Wedding. And I will say to you, for one, when has Game of Thrones really ever been fair? Two, maybe Arya will just find out the people involved in it and then invite them in the room or take care of them. Or three, maybe she'll just not give a fuck and kill them all. <laughs> it is Arya. She really likes to stab. Next, given Edmure Tully's actor was back for the season, Arya will probably release her uncle, which hopefully will lead to him rallying Tully forces and taking back the Riverlands with Lord Frey and most his male relatives dead. His wife very well could be the next living heir to the twins, so maybe he doesn't even need to fight. But if he does need to fight, with Danny and co occupying Cersei's forces, this could give Edmure enough time and breathing room to take back the Riverlands if he needs to, which, oh boy, is just going to set Cersei right the fuck off. After freeing Edmure, Arya will head north. A girl is Arya Stark of Winterfell, and I'm going home. I think from the trailers and promo photos, it is obvious she's heading towards her family home. If we want to go a step further and be dirty fucking cheaters, leaked photos showed her on set with some of the other Starks. So she's going north. While heading north, she could come upon a few surprising things. First, we know the Brotherhood Without Banners is heading north. And who is in that company right now? The Hound. The surprise look on Arya's face could be her seeing that the Hound is actually alive which would make for such an amazing reunion. We know Arya's true feelings for the Hound and that she didn't really want him dead. And we know the Hound cared for Arya in his tough love sort of way. Also, there's some people on her list in that company, the Hound, Thoros, and Beric. I don't think she will kill them personally. I think if she comes upon them, she might consider it, but once she figures out what they're doing, she'll be more hesitant and allow them to go on. And after her admitting she cares for the Hound, I don't think she's gonna go after him in general. That being said, I still haven't decided if she sees him on the way to Winterfell or she sees him actually at Winterfell. I kinda want at Winterfell because I want the Hound to arrive there with the two girls already there, and then we have this emotional moment where he sees his two girls. I think in a way seeing them safely back home, well, safely for now, 
it would be a good way to complete his storyline and maybe make it a little bit better with him dying this season. Yeah, I said it. I'm not taking it back. Moving on, we also saw in a trailer for season 7, Arya looking concerned while building a campfire. The tinfoil in me wants this to be her encountering Nymeria, her dire wolf she set free many seasons ago to spare her from death. So in my head, Arya hears a noise and grabs her sword. Then out of the surrounding woods, wolves appear. Arya is freaked out. How can she take on this many wolves and live? But as they approach her, something much bigger comes out of the woods, recognizes Arya, and makes a noise. The other wolves back off, and a shocked Arya sees that it is really Nymeria. Cue my screams as Arya runs to her and throws her arms around the direwolf's neck. Then Arya gets to Winterfell, and Nymeria promptly dies of brain cancer because D&D are fucking dicks. I could see the direwolf not going with her and staying with its pack, or following Arya to Winterfell. The direwolf may have another purpose at this point, regardless of her connection to Arya. Which I'm guessing isn't the same connection as we see in the books. And maybe that direwolf's purpose is uh, saving HBO on CGI. But if Nymeria does go to Winterfell with Arya, I really hope she smells out Littlefinger's scummy BS. I want constant growling. So common sense, eventually Arya gets to Winterfell, and I think it will be a relief and a shock. Since the last time she was there, there was a fire and a few fights in and around the castle. It definitely doesn't look exactly the same. Depending on how quickly she gets up there, she might see some corpses as well. Regardless of how it looks, she will be both happy and nervous to be home. Does she know who is in the castle? Does she wonder how they'll feel seeing her back after so long? Probably one of the most emotional scenes of the season will be Arya walking into Winterfell and Sansa seeing her. Remember the sansa John scene and their little stare? Yeah, it'll be like that warm feeling all over again. Unless you hate the Starks, and in that case, I can't help you. What would make this even more emotional is if she arrives at Winterfell while Jon is still there, though we're not going to get that because I'm not that lucky. They've always had a special bond, and Jon and her meeting up again is going to be a thousand times more emotional than him meeting up with Sansa again. I could see Jon reading a letter that Arya's home and getting choked up. I'm about 60% sure that Jon and Arya will have a touchy reunion this season, though. It would be an even bigger shock if she got there after Bran. So Arya comes home and she finds not only her sister, but her brother. I'm not sure if this would work out, as it's hard to tell timing with the directors and writers having stated not every storyline is completely synced up. Some stories are further in the future or past than others. But I do have a feeling they'll all arrive close to each other, though. It will be interesting to see how she adjusts to her siblings. In her head, she may be thinking how different she is and that she'll be an outcast, but in talking with her siblings, she'll realize they've all been through just as much. They're all changed. They're not the same. I do think Arya and Sansa will fight a little like they always have. They both have been through a lot. Yeah, they both changed, but they've changed in different ways, and those changes don't necessarily uh, fix how you interact with your sibling. Not all the time. I think for sure we can expect some disagreements between the two girls, which I'm hoping Bran steps in and tries to get them to cooperate a bit more. But honestly, I can see Bran and Arya getting along swimmingly. I think with what Bran has gone through and what Arya has gone through and Bran's mission and being focused on his task will really appeal to Arya. But moving on, at Winterfell, Arya is going to notice something very important. A certain man that was on the Lannister side during the War of the Five Kings. Arya isn't going to let that shit go. She is going to be very suspicious of Littlefinger, and part of me hopes that Littlefinger is going to realize by seeing her that he had a Stark at Harrenhal right in front of him, and he let her slip through his fingers. What could add to this distrust is if Arya and the Hound are at Winterfell at the same time, and the Hound informs her of Littlefinger's treachery towards her father. The Hound was there for it, and probably would not like him hanging around his two favorite girls. Which brings us to all the images with Arya carrying Cat's paw, Littlefinger's Valyrian steel dagger that was used in an attempt to kill Bran. After that unsuccessful assassination attempt, Catelyn Stark took the dagger to King's Landing to give to Ned. Ned then kept that dagger in his office when he was Hand of the King, which may be important. It being out in the open could have led Arya to seeing the dagger. 
It isn't an ordinary dagger either. Valerian steel has a unique quality to it. She would notice the same type of metal as her family's ancestral sword and or her education would lead her to know about Valerian steel and what it looks like. Even if it didn't, Arya did like fighting, so I think she'd find a way to learn about it. Though really, she probably got the rundown on her family's sword and what makes it special. So Arya knew that that dagger was special. She noticed it. Ned could have also shared with Arya why the dagger was there, if questioned. Her knowing the dagger and knowing it was used to kill Bran could have a big payoff in Season 7. If she sees Littlefinger wearing that dagger, her suspicions are going to go through the roof. Of course, with Arya already suspicious of Littlefinger when she arrives at Winterfell, seeing him at Harrenhal and probably after learning what he's done to her sister, Arya doesn't have to see the dagger on Littlefinger. Seeing him at Winterfell could be enough to prompt Arya to use her sneaky, faceless men training to get into Littlefinger's room and search for incriminating evidence. Especially if she tries to warn Sansa of what she saw and Sansa just blows her off. Arya knows her home very well, so sneaking into Littlefinger's room wouldn't be that difficult for her. However, when she finds the dagger in Littlefinger's room, I think that will be enough to convince Arya Littlefinger has to go. In that case, I don't know how much Arya will try to reason with Sansa before she just goes off and kills Littlefinger. We know Arya does not listen very well, and when she wants to kill someone, she wants to kill someone. So I could see her straight just going to kill Littlefinger without getting Sansa to understand why she's doing it. But I have a feeling between Arya and Bran, they will convince Sansa that Littlefinger needs to go and she will be completely on board. Though personally, I hope it is the girls that come to the decision together. Man, a good old fashioned execution with the girls would be such a great time. If I remember some of the previous leaked plot lines, cause there's been a million of them so far that I just 100% don't believe all of them. I think it's rumored that Sansa orders Arya to kill Littlefinger, but there's a lot more to cover in regards to Littlefinger's death, but I'll cover that in my next prediction video, The Lone Wolf Dies. But when Arya gets this dagger, it basically sets it up for her using it in the future against the others on some level. If she gets the dagger and doesn't use it in battle, then that's just kind of sloppy. Everything she has gone through, all her training, is leading to this one moment. Her getting the dagger is leading towards that end. Arya isn't going to get married and have kids, at least not in the traditional sense. As well, she's not going to be on the battlefield with men fighting like Brienne. She's going to have a sneakier stealth way of fighting. And I could see Bran actually recruiting her and getting her to realize how much of a threat the others are and her joining up with Bran to complete a mission or missions. I could see this leading to her killing Cersei as well. I do think Arya will eventually leave Winterfell to carry on her mission or go on a new mission. Again, she won't ever hold a seat of power like her sister Sansa will. So those are my thoughts on Arya, including the leaks, and my thoughts on how those will come true or work out. But what are your thoughts on Arya? Do you think she's a goner this season? And do you think she's going to have to convince Sansa to kill Littlefinger? Or uh, Sansa's going to pretty much be on board with that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, and come back for more videos.